Uh, I'm Giuseppe Romano. I'm a research scientist at MIT, and I came to MIT actually 10 years ago and for six months as a visiting scientist, and I never left. I never left because I truly enjoy the environment here, um, both at the campus and also at the city level. I felt that I could identify with the city, for cool, with, with, with Cambridge, and I also like people here that are very, very driven. And they work a lot, and I like working a lot, so I don't feel strange around them. <laughs> and I truly admire their vision for grand challenges. So I would like to be immersed in this spectacular environment. My research is based on three main pillars. First, uh, we develop multi-scale models for energy materials and devices. Secondly, uh, we, once we have the model, we would like to do the so-called inverse design that aims at identifying the best geometry that gives a, a given physical property. Then the third pillar is uh, development of software for simulations. The physical behavior of a material and a, a device depends on physics uh, that lies at the cross-section of different lamp scales. On one side, atomistic model really um, uh, are really able to capture uh, the most intimate effects of a material, but they're very hard to capture computationally. On the other extreme, we have continuum modeling, where um, we discretize a system by means of so-called, for example, finite elements, and we aim at modeling the average effect of some phenomena, for example, diffusion. And, but what really is missing is what happens in between these two worlds, and this is where I actually uh, spend a lot of effort in. I like this area because it's really, a, it's really a bridge between different worlds. There are communities that are focused on atomistic models, and there are communities focused on a continuum model. So, and I truly would like not only to come up with novel physical models that can bridge those two descriptions, but also uh, with tools that can bridge communities.